The wheel of time turns, and ages come and pass, leaving memories that become legend. The Wheel of Time trailer was released today, and wow, it's so good. I paused each and every frame and studied them in great detail, and it revealed quite a few interesting things, some of which are very different from the books, like Lan, Moraine, and Nynaeve running into Alana, Leandrin, and Karin Sedai while they are on their way to escort Loghain, a Moraine vs. Loghain fight, and Shadar Logoth being surrounded by water, etc. So if you are interested in any of these details, make sure to watch the whole video. Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Book Maniacs, the one stop for book and TV series reviews. I have already discussed what the Wheel of Time is all about, some basic terms like the One Power, I Said I, etc., which are frequently used in this world, and the Wheel of Time cast in my previous videos without sharing any spoilers. So, if you are new to this world, you might want to check out those videos first so you could understand the terms used in this video. This video might contain a couple of teeny tiny spoilers, but I'll try to keep them to a minimum. And since we don't know how much has been changed from the books, I'll only try to speculate what might happen on the show, even if it's different from the books. So, let's begin. In the first clip, Nynaeve tells Egwene to be strong and pushes her into the river below. This doesn't seem like Emmons Field. At first, I thought she was trying to awaken Sidar, aka the female half of the One Power within Egwene. But we see Egwene going down river and then emerging in a pool with red, yellow and white color on her. I think there are brown and blue there too, but I can't be sure of that. If you'll check her sleeves, Egwene is wearing the same dress when she was pushed. So all of this happens in one episode. Which is what makes me think this might be some kind of test in the White Tower to decide which Aja, a novice or an accepted should join. That's the only thing I could think of. Do you have any other theories as to why Nynaeve would push Egwene? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Then we see a shot of the mountains and a river. As we know our group would head towards Taran Ferry, I guess it's safe to say this shot is from somewhere in this area after they have just left Emmons Field. Then we see Emmons Field and the Wine Spring Inn. Emmons Fielders are going about their business on the green. Kids are playing in the background, and hen, at least geese in the books, are roaming around. It's just as described in the books. And what's that in the background? It looks like a few sacks are tied on a few poles. Maybe it's for Beltine fires? By the way, I love the attention to details here. Then we see Rand, Matt, and Perrin inside the inn. They are probably talking about the Gleeman, the man in the black cloak, etc just like they did in the first chapter. Then we see Egwene enter the inn, and Nynaeve and then Rand smile at her. Then we see six horses running near another river on a less green ground. There is no grass here. They must be getting closer to Taran Ferry. This is before they reached Bear Lawn, because Nynaeve isn't with them. The two in the front would be Moraine and Lan, then we have Perrin, Matt, Egwene and Rand. On the show, Karin Sedai would exist in the current storyline. We see her warder step in, kissing a ring and crying. There's a fire burning in front of him. As you can see in one of the later clips, this ring belongs to Karin Sedai, which makes me think she will die. As for how, I have a theory about it, which I'll discuss later with another frame. Stepin might be holding her ring for revenge, and I can't think of another reason why a warder would cry unless his Aes Sedai is dead. In one of the later clips, we see Karin Sedai healing Moraine's injury, which I think she might have gotten from Shada Logast, because in one of the promo pictures, we saw Lan carrying her from there. In one of the later clips, we see Stepin protecting Alana, while Lan is protecting Nynaeve when they are about to be attacked. You can see a huge pavilion in front of them. I think Karin Sedai ordered her warder to help out other Aes Sedai and protect them while they are attacked by those men. 
Then we see Egwene step out of her pool with red, yellow and white stripes on her. And then we see the streets and towers of Tharwalan. You can see the dragon mount in the background too. Then we see Moraine entering the wine spring inn at night looking for our three young men. Then we see Egwene flowing down the river after Nynaeve had pushed her. At one point, she seems to float and seems peaceful. I think at this point, she will accept Sidar. Then we see Moraine being brought to the Amarlin seat in the hall of the tower. We get a closer look at Swan Sanche. I'm sorry for the background noise. There's some construction work going on there. Anyway, so we get a closer look at Swan Sanche. You can see the seven striped colors on her collar. I guess she is not going to wear a seven striped stole. The red and the green Aja sit near the Amelin while the other five Ajas sit opposite them. I don't know why it makes me think that the red and green Aja are above the other Ajas. In the next frame, we see Karin Sedai healing Moraine with the one power. Judging by what you can see in the background, it does seem like a tent to me. Then we see the one power flowing through Moraine in Emmons field. And you can see many dead bodies lying around and a few fires in the green. I'll discuss this frame later with another one. Then we see Leandrin and the Red Aja. Is it just me or do they seem ready for a fight? Then we see Liana Sharif stamping her staff in the hall in an attempt to quiet down the other sisters. I don't know why her color seems silver grayish to me. Does that mean they will change her Aja on the show? Why do you think she is wearing a different color? Then we see Nynaeve, Alana, Stepin and her warder Avon waiting for an attack. Some people shoot arrows at them and then Alana uses the one power to stop those arrows. In the next frame, you can see that Alana is not alone. She has the red Aja with her. And is that her other warder Maxim behind her? Anyway, so here's what I think has happened. Alana and Leandrin were given the task to escort Logan to the White Tower after he was captured, as you can see in this promo picture. In one of the later clips, you can see the clothes of the men who will attack the Aes Sedai. They are not the children of the light. So my guess is, this is Logan's army trying to free him. I'll discuss how this fight will end later with another frame. So it seems like, on their way to the White Tower, Alana and Leandrin, with their green and red Ajas respectively, will run into an injured Moraine, Lan and Nynaeve who were coming from Shadar Logoth and got separated from Rand, Matt, Perrin and Egwene. Then we see Rand and Matt on a mountain and you can see a shot of Shadar Logoth. Yes, at first I thought it was Star Wallen, but then I zoomed on it. You can't see the white tower in this. Just compare this picture with this. Do they seem the same to you? And you can't see any bridges connecting to it either. It seems more like an isolated island. That's why I think it's Shadow Logoth and not Tar Wallen. Also, in one of the later clips, you can see Mashadar moving toward Rand and Egwene on the parapet walk, which seems to go around in a circle, and you can see it's surrounded by water. So which one do you think it is? Tar Wallen or Shadow Logoth? Did you miss any of these details? If you want to watch more such videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. So, what did you think of this video? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.